Women's wrestling once again ruled the world this past week with the finals of the Mayon Classic. But before we talk about that, we're going to take a quick look back at the tournament itself. So the first round saw, in my opinion, two shocking eliminations. Well, early in the round, re- early, uh, with Tessa Blanchard and Santana Garrett both getting knocked out in the first round. Now, we all know who Santana Garrett is. She's worked a bunch of NXT matches before. She's been in a ton of ind- indie companies. And Tessa Blanchard is a third generation star. They both have great futures ahead of them. So it was pretty shocking to see them not make it past the first round. But I'm sure WWE is going to sign them because if they don't, there's something wrong with them. So I'm sure it is not the last we've seen of either one of them in a WWE ring. Now the next round saw, of course, you know, we have to see people get eliminated. But it saw Candice LeRae and Dakota Kai, both who I thought would have went farther get eliminated. Now, Candice, again, one of the best women's wrestlers in the entire world. WWE, again, we need to sign her because she clearly has what it takes. She's been doing this forever to make it far. I don't even think she needs to go to the main roster. I mean, I would love to see her in NXT. And Dakota Kai is signed to NXT. Young, got a few big career ahead of her. So while obviously it would've, she would have loved to have won the Mayan Classic, doesn't matter. She's going to have a bright future with her. Now, two other people who made it pretty far were Mercedes Martinez and Tony Storm. Mercedes Martinez is a veteran. She has been doing this for 17 years. That is amazing. Now, Tony Storm is a veteran, hasn't been doing it for nearly that long. It doesn't matter because the two of them, again, have the athleticism, the skills, the looks, everything to make it far in this business. So the finals, in my opinion, were shocking. Not so much Kyrie Sane. I think we all knew she was going to make it far in this competition, in the tournament, sorry. But Shayna Baszler has about two years of experience in wrestling. I know she's obviously got a lot of MMA experience, but she has two years in wrestling. She defeated people, two people who have a combined 32 years of experience. Just let that soak in for a second. In Candice LeRae and Mercedes Martinez. That is amazing. I take nothing away from Shayna Baszler because she is a powerful girl, uh, woman. Sorry, she's not a girl. She's a woman. And I, again, would love to see WWE sign her. I think WWE needs to sign everybody in this tournament. I think we all want that. Um, Obviously, some of the girls are already signed to NXT. Sorry. Uh, and... Looks like they were teasing a four horse woman versus four horse woman match. So that would be amazing. But we're going to have to wait and see. Now, the finals really proved why Shayna deserved to be in the finals. She definitely, if she had any doubters, I think she definitely proved she can wrestle. But it was no match for Kyrie Sane, who won the first ever May Young Classic. I'd love to hear everybody's thoughts about that. If you wanted her to win, if you didn't, let me know. Also, uh, breaking a believe that night, she is Kyrie Sane is going to be fighting for the vacant NXT Women's Championship at the next takeover, which is NXT uh, Takeover Houston. Now that was later announced to be a fatal four way. We do have some participants. I'm not going to talk about that right now. We're going to wait for that. But I would love to hear also who you would love to see Kyrie Sane face. I have a couple of ideas. There is one spot left to be filled. I have a couple of ideas who I would like that to be. Again, I'm going to talk about that at a later date, but any comments you have, write them below, and I will see you next week.